Dr. Ken Landau, thanks for joining us. Let's talk about Rofade. Rofade is a 1% oxymetazoline that's been approved for the persistent redness of rosacea in adults. It was approved in January of 2017, but oxymetazoline, Afrin, has been around since around 1964. Now it's billed as the first and only alpha-1 agonist approved for the treatment of rosacea. And supposedly, each application is going to last for about 12 hours. Now, there haven't been a lot of good treatments for the redness of rosacea. Rosacea has several different stages, and one is the erythema, or the redness. Now, the only exception so far is laser therapy. And laser therapy, either the IPL or the V-beam, seems to get you about a year of relief. And then you have to have it done again. Well, rosacea is a condition of unknown cause that affects somewhere around 16 million Americans, usually between the ages of 20 and 60. The most frequent manifestation is an exaggerated blushing or flushing with some redness of the chin, the cheeks, the forehead, the nose. The redness form tends to occur much more commonly in women than it does in men. Usually the redness takes longer than normal to go away, and ultimately, it doesn't even go away at all. It's kind of like a bad sunburn that just seems to persist. And then some of those people develop some of the dilated red blood vessels that persist on the face. People talk about those as broken blood vessels. Well, there's another form of rosacea, and this is sort of adult acne. It looks like acne, but there are no blackheads and whiteheads. They're just the pimples. And we treat it just pretty much like we would treat acne. And there's still another form that tends to cause enlargement of the oil glands, especially around the nose. That's typified by Bill Clinton with his nose. Well, rosacea seems to flare whenever a person gets hot. Any kind of heat. doesn't make any difference. It could be emotions, conflict. It could be because you have hot beverage, hot coffee, hot tea. Maybe you go outside in the hot summer. You enjoy some spicy food, spicy Mexican, spicy Chinese food. Maybe you get some vigorous exercise. Any form of alcohol that you drink is going to cause the skin to get hot, whether it's beer or whiskey or wine. And in some women, we find that the skin is especially sensitive to topical applications of moisturizers or makeup. You have to remember that Rofade is only for the persistent redness, not the redness that seems to come and go, and it certainly doesn't work on any other form of rosacea. What it does is it constricts the blood vessels, and it works seemingly just on the skin, but a few people may be ultra-sensitive, and if they're ultra-sensitive, some of this medicine gets inside, and when it gets inside, it can cause a problem with increased blood pressure, especially if people have heart disease, or if people have uncontrolled hypertension, people are at risk of stroke. It can also cause a problem with narrow angle glaucoma or angle closure glaucoma. It causes problems if people have certain kind of medical diseases. So if you have Raynaud's phenomenon where your skin turns white, especially your fingers and your toes, and some discoloration, well, it's not for you, nor is it if you have Sjogren syndrome, where you have some dryness of the mouth, dryness of the eyes, or for men with enlarged prostate. Well, putting it on the skin, since the skin is irritable in rosacea, might lead to some kind of problem. It can lead to some itching or some redness. And in those people who have the pimples associated with rosacea, it could get it worse. Now, they did a study, and the study lasted for 29 days, and the end point was two grades of improvement in the combined doctor and patient assessment. So each scale had a five-point score. And what they did is they looked at people who had moderate to severe rosacea. And what did they find? They didn't find much, actually. The people who used the Rofade at the end of the trial, fewer than one in five, fewer than 20% of the people were improved. People on the placebo somewhere between 5 and about 10% were improved. So there's very little difference between the Rofade and the vehicle. Now, the cream is available as a 30-gram container. What you do is you put a pea-sized amount once in the morning, and if you need, once at night. It's meant to last all day. There are alternatives if you want a topical medicine. There's something called Merveso. That's a point 
0.33% topical gel. It was approved by the Food and Drug Administration in 2013, again, for the persistent redness, not the transient redness. That's up to 12 hours, but it's an alpha-2 agonist, very closely related to the rofate. Originally, it was marketed as alpha P. That was a treatment for glaucoma. Now, Merveso, also called bromonidine, got its approval for glaucoma in 2005. And people say for rosacea, the company that makes it says, well, it's gentler, it's better tolerated, and there's no rebound. But according to the Allergan folks, mm, the Merveso isn't as good as the Rofate. Well, how do you apply the Merveso? You put it on four different areas, five different areas of the skin. You rub it in. Basically, you do the same sort of thing as you would do with the Rofade. And according to the results of the studies, at day 29 with Merveso, somewhere between 25 and 30 percent of the people have improved versus about 5 to 10 percent with the placebo. But here's the kit. The Rofade, to get that 30 gram container, if you go to GoodRx and you have a coupon, costs $500? And the Merveso, if you get a 30 gram container, again at GoodRx.com, and you have a coupon, it's about $410. But you could go and get a bottle of the generic Alpha Gen P eye drop. That only costs about $11. Or if you want to use the oxymetazoline, Weaker concentration, no question about it. You could use Afrin spray. That's five to six dollars a bottle. Or you could get the generic of the oxymetazoline. That's less than two dollars. And that's less than two dollars without any insurance card, without anything. That's just cash. Go get it and go away. Now, Rofate is going to be available in May of 2017. Allergan is going to push the drug. It was the first approval in 2017. They expect up to about $300 million in revenue from this drug. Already there are lawsuits claiming the rights to, to market the compound really don't belong to them. So there are a lot of, of question about its future. But my take on the whole issue is that it's basically like Afrin, but only 100 or 200 times the price and it doesn't work very well. So it works in about 15 people out of every 100 versus about 6 or 7 out of 100 if they use just a simple placebo. So give me a break. Come on, on this kind of stuff. And in dermatology, we tend to use just the Afrin. And that seems to be relatively good. Certainly, it's a lot cheaper with Rofade. Maybe if we're lucky, it or the price at least will just fade away. I'm Dr. Ken Landau. Thanks for watching.